A restrictive fuel filter can cause immediate loss of power. Proper maintenance is essential for maximum engine performance. It is important that correct installation procedures are followed. Remember, gasoline and diesel fuel are highly flammable and should be handled in a well-ventilated area away from sparks or flames such as a furnace or hot water heater. Be sure to use an approved container when draining fuel. Most Hastings spin-on fuel filters include pictograms on the filters themselves showing the proper installation procedures. When servicing a diesel fuel filter, first close the fuel shutoff valve to prevent fuel spillage. If the filter has a drain, open the drain plug and drain the fuel from the filter. If the system is equipped with a water sensor, remove the sensor from the filter. Unscrew and remove the old filter, making sure the old gasket is also removed. The use of a filter wrench may be required. Wipe the filter mounting base with a clean cloth to remove any contaminants. Remove the protective shrink wrap from the new filter. Check that all required gaskets and post seals are included and inspect the filter for dents. A dent creates a concentrated area of stress, causing fatigue, which can shorten the life of a filter. Filters that are dented prior to or during installation should not be used. Fill the new filter with clean fuel of the same type that is being used in the equipment. Apply a thin film of clean motor oil to the filter gasket. Do not use grease. Install a new post seal if one is supplied. Line up the threads on the filter with the threads on the mounting base carefully to avoid cross-threading. Screw on the new filter until the gasket comes into contact with the base. Follow the instructions of the filter manufacturer for final tightening. The pictogram on the filter will tell how many additional turns from gasket contact the filter requires. A filter strap wrench may be needed to ensure proper torque. Place the wrench near the base plate of the filter to avoid damaging the filter during installation. A fuel filter that is not properly tightened to the manufacturer's recommendations may leak or pull air into the fuel system, causing the engine to misfire or shut down. Reinstall the water sensor if equipped and reconnect the water sensor wire. Make sure the filter drain plug is closed and open the fuel shutoff valve. Start the engine and check for leaks. Again, inspect the filter for dents. There are many types of systems, new and old, using cartridge filters on the market today. When installing a cartridge filter, some common instructions can be followed. Close the fuel shutoff valve to prevent fuel spillage. If the filter housing is equipped with a drain, open the drain plug and drain the fuel from the filter and housing. Clean the outside of the housing before removing the filter to keep contaminants out of the fuel system. Unscrew the housing retainer nut from the filter head to open the housing. Remove the filter and all old gaskets. Wipe the inside of the filter housing with a clean cloth to remove contaminants. Check the new filter to make sure that all required gaskets and seals are included. Also, inspect the filter for damage. Damaged filters should not be used. Reinstall the filter and all necessary gaskets. Replace the housing cover retainer nut. Make sure the housing drain plug is closed and open the fuel shutoff valve. Bleed the housing to remove air. And finally, start the engine and check for leaks. On automotive vehicles, the inline fuel filter replacement procedures vary depending on the vehicle's make and year and the type of fuel system. It is important to follow the manufacturer's guidelines for servicing. Inline fuel filters can be located anywhere between the fuel tank and the injector fuel rail or throttle body. On many vehicles, the filter is located underneath the vehicle along a frame rail or in a bracket near the fuel tank. On some vehicles, non-serviceable inline filters are located inside the fuel tank. 
Most fuel filters have arrows indicating the direction of the fuel flow. It is important to install the filter with the arrows pointing toward the engine, away from the fuel tank. When changing an inline fuel filter, make sure the engine is cold and the battery's negative cable is disconnected to prevent the fuel from igniting. Also, loosen the fuel tank filler cap to relieve any fuel tank vapor pressure. Place an approved gasoline container under the fuel filter to catch any spills and for disposal. Use safety glasses to protect against spraying fuel. Check the manufacturer's owner's manual for instructions on how to disconnect and replace the old filter. Once the new filter has been installed, start the engine and check for leaks.